A 62-year-old male underwent an uneventful right total hip replacement under GA. On post-op day number two, the nurse calls to tell you that the patient has T-wave inversions in leads two and three. He has no chest pain and no prior cardiac history. What would you do? I would go and examine the patient, review the chart, and compare the current EKG to prior ones. If the patient is hemodynamically stable and denies chest pain, I would check serial EKGs and troponins. The blood pressure is 110 over 50. The T-wave inversions on EKG are new, and a repeat troponin is 0 0.06 nanograms per milliliter, with the upper limit of normal being 0 0.04 nanograms per milliliter. The patient is asymptomatic. Are you still concerned about an MI? This could still be an MI. The majority of postoperative ischemic events present without chest pain, as the patient is typically receiving analgesics. Diabetic patients can also have silent MIs. What are the underlying causes of postoperative myocardial infarction? Most commonly, postoperative MIs are due to supply and demand mismatch in the setting of coronary artery disease. Plaque rupture is also possible, though less likely. How would you treat the patient given the equivocal data thus far? Besides serial EKGs and troponins, I would consider a transthoracic echo to assess for new wall motion abnormalities as they generally occur prior to EKG changes. Then, if not contraindicated, I would start the patient on aspirin and high-dose statin while waiting for more data. The transthoracic echo is normal and the next EKG shows some ST elevations. What would you do now? Given this data, I would be concerned that this is an evolving MI. I would ask for a cardiology consult as this patient may need a cath. I would also ask the orthopedic team about the possibility of dual antiplatelet therapy if coronary stenting were indicated.